Welcome to Rock and Roll Industries. We are now going to do an area of Hafia. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Hafia Moreira. Uh, I am a guitarist. I sing as well, and I, I songwrite, and I produce, and I that's it. You know, I'm from Brazil. I've been in this country for uh, half of my life, maybe a little more. Yeah, I'm stoked. I'm really stoked to be here. I love this mag. My first guitar was called Jennifer. It was a local brand and I remember being very, very depressed. And I went to my room and I was like, you know, I was probably eight years old. I, I started playing when I was six on, on a nylon acoustics and uh, uh, my mom said, oh, there's something outside, I don't even know what you call that stuff, where way back in the day where you, you get your clothes, you know, to dry, you know, the, the oh, hanging wire. Yeah. yeah? Clothesline. Clothesline, that's right. <laughs> See, thank you. Um, and there was a guitar there, like a guitar bag. Oh, really? Oh, that tripped me <laughs> out, like, I couldn't believe it. So that was Jennifer. Jennifer came at the right time, and and it took me a while to 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 do a rock album, you know. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to make a band and a project where I can put that element in there, you know. So I created Magnetico, and it's a trio. It's a power trio, uh -huh. but it's it's based on songs, you know, lyric writing, and a lot of cool rock riffs, heavy. <laughs> I'm sure. The people that like me or you know enjoy what I do will enjoy what I'm doing because it's it's honest you know it's not trying to please this and that or the the industry if you know what I mean it's ridiculous what's going on so yeah just being honest yeah I know you've talked a little bit to um, other interviewers and stuff about how to network yourself nowadays with social media. You got any yeah. tips for our audience on that one they haven't shared before? <laughs> I think you gotta be vulnerable. Be yourself, you know, really share your day, share your week, tell people what you're doing and and vice versa, you know. Nowadays is more of a interaction than anything yeah, else. You gotta know your fans too. Exactly. I, I love doing that and I I think I think it's good. To, it's still good to have some mystery, you know, and uh, but it's it nowadays is way more. It's much much simpler than before, and yeah, I'm a real pe person. Everybody is. Yeah. Nobody's. It's a nobody's uh, a monster or an alien. I'm an alien, <laughs> but everybody's simple and everybody's a person, and. Everybody has different talents. That's what makes you different than some other person with great talents. And that's it. That's pretty simple. Now we all know that. So yeah, it's not the same as like up on a pedestal as it used to exactly. be. Exactly. It's you're so close to the musicians and exactly. the fans and all that nowadays. So that's all it is. You know, you just gotta really do what you do and. And that's it. Enjoy it. And maybe some people will enjoy it too. So yeah, man, I got a couple of CDs out. This is um, my first one, my solo album. It's called Acid Guitar. You guys can find it on iTunes or um, CD Baby or Amazon, whatever. And this is my band's first album called Songs About the World. And yes, you can find it on iTunes. Uh, Amazon and CD Baby. This song is called Not Too Blind to See. So let's go. I'm here today, but I'm from tomorrow. And I'm a master of pain, a king of sorrow. Come and stand with me.